Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 79 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film, at the end of the day, is going to be a revelation film, answering many of the burning questions from The Force Awakens that will now be answered in, of course, Episode 9 by J.J. And we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are treating Episode 9 as a very important Star Wars film, not just to themselves as companies, but also to the Star Wars community, in order to really end the sequel trilogy in a satisfying light. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for this movie. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Rey is traveling to a place called the Lost City, where she is in search of Jedi and Sith lore to better understand the ways of the Force and the dark side and the light of the Force. It's explained that one of the sequences is said to involve Rey discovering a place called the Lake of Dreams. This location is said to be a powerful force nexus that allows one to connect with the force to their maximum potential. One of the sequences is even said to involve Rey meditating in the Lake of Dreams, where eventually she is said to hear the force ghost voice of Anakin Skywalker reaching out to her. It's explained that Anakin's force ghost voice is said to guide Rey through the Lake of Dreams, where Anakin is said to allow Rey to see a specific vision of her mother that is said to be crucial to Rey's character. It's explained that Anakin allows Rey to see a vision of her mother, storing a map to the unknown regions of an unknown star system in the unknown regions within Rey's staff. It's explained that this star system is said to hold an entire population of strong force sensitives, that actually hold the potential to become new Jedi that Palpatine wants to destroy with his Annihilators. It's explained that An Anakin Skywalker's presence allows Rey to see the truth when she opens her staff and sees the map in present time. It's said to be a series of hyperspace routes to that she has to take on a list of different star systems in a unique pattern in the unknown regions. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now the thing about Episode 9 so far is that we do know that this movie is of course going to be adding new mediums to the Star Wars franchise that fans have never seen before in of course the Skywalker saga and that really is a big deal to the fans by JJ is the fact that JJ Abrams is really ambitious about this movie he's trying to do something very much incredible with episode 9 in order to not only connect it to the prequels and the originals but to also give us new types of Star Wars lore connected to the Jedi, the Sith, and the Force in general so let's go over this particular segment. Now, this actual segment is said to involve both Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost voice reaching out to Rey, and of course the Lake of Dreams. Now in case you guys have no idea what the Lake of Dreams really is, it's said to be a place over in the Lost City, which by the way is said to be a place full of Jedi ruins underneath the surface of an unknown world in the Outer Rim, where as Rey travels there she discovers new secrets related to the Jedi and the Sith, and once she goes into the Lake of Dreams, which is said to be a very powerful Force Nexus that allows one to connect with the Force to their maximum potential, where Anakin Skywalker's presence is said to allow Rey to witness a vision of her mother inserting a map to the unknown regions within Rey's staff. But not just a map to the unknown regions, but a specific point in which it leads to that star system that holds an entire new generation of Force-sensitive individuals that have the potential to become a new generation of Jedi. So, like I say, this most likely is what J.J. Abrams was referring to The Rise of Skywalker and how it's going to build towards something new and magical and larger which could very well explain what's going to happen after Episode 9 and what Rey's journey is going to be like after the rise of Skywalker, after the official defeat of Palpatine once and for all. Now, on top of all of this, we do know that the rise of Skywalker is going to be a movie with many different twists and turns. You can already see how they're connecting it to the prequel trilogy era by having Anakin's presence help Rey actually witness this vision in a vivid way, where it's also using that prequel trilogy content by also utilizing, in a sense, to create something new with Rey's lineage and a truth behind Rey's mother. Now, so far, we don't really know too much about, of course, you know, exactly how Rey's mother and Rey's father are going to be utilized in the Lake of Dreams, other than the fact that it is indeed a vision. So Rey's mother is actually said to be seen inserting the map into that staff, 
where once the vision ends, Ray is said to go into the staff in present time and discovers the map laying in there. So now you can see why the staff was really important all along. You can see that all this time, the staff was actually a very important relic that Rey was hanging on to from The Force Awakens throughout The Last Jedi and now in Episode 9. That's going to be really much used and connected to Rey's parents in order to really bring in a new generation of Jedi from what it seems and to create a new order. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.